Hello and welcome to another unboxing here at Die Grüne Horde. It's finally there. Halo Ground Command has reached us with a Battle for Reach box. The two player starter set. You will get inside the UNSC with Warthogs, Rifleman and the Spartan. And then the Covenant with the Elites, the Sealets, some Hunters um, and the Ghost here. We also get two UNSC bunkers and some uh, terrain. I think these would be nice objectives. You get the stat cards, templates and tokens. They look similar than those for um, fleet battles, commanders, rulebook, dice, halo dice and those command dice that we know from fleet battles. One thing I really like is more weight inside uh, as the Three petals box, so it's resin models, uh, which I clearly prefer. Plastic models were nice. I prefer resin models, and Spartan is the company that, in my opinion, does the best resin models. Uh, that's why I like them. Okay, let's have a look inside. It's a heavy box, and inside you get several bubble wrap. There are the models. Three of them. There's something. Wants to get out, wants to be shown first. Uh, that's our rifleman, AGM. So the weapon team for the UNSC. Um, these are resin, these are the objectives. Dice. Advertisement for the other games. That's still the old one. Nothing new in this one. <laughs> and a bag with. Um, blue box, stat cards, commander cards, print, maybe, the bunkers in here. I think I'll do a building tutorial for one of them very soon. Okay, let's go through it one by one. Start with the bag. So, explanation of rules, of course you can't shoot through uh, trees. If you don't see the enemy, you're moving faster on the road, nice makes sense. Let's read it and then decide if everything makes sense. I believe it is so. S scenario basics, random terrain. Okay, how to set up terrain. You normally place it. The guy that owns the table. <laughs> so in most cases myself in my gaming room. And then the other one chooses the site so that ensures that I do it fair and uh, yeah. And the random generation table will also ensure that it's kind of fair. Introductionary game on a small 4x4 battlefield and then on bigger battlefields this is 12, also 4x4, okay, so you don't need, no, 48, that's the bigger battlefield, 4x4, 4x4, that's 48 inch, 4x4 feet, yeah, as a German I normally calculate in meters. Different scenarios, Assassinate, King of the Hill, Meat Grinder, Raiders, so different versions and missions, you would test them, and now you go into the game turn, and there is a, the game turn has phases, those have segments, steps, and then action and sub-actions, oh, this is oh, very detailed, it helps, if you try to do it the first time like this, and then um, later just play, and you have caught up the rules. These are the order dice. That's the first thing you do. You determine the initiative with these. Yeah, roll 2d6 and add your command symbols that you have rolled. This model looks cool. The Falcon. I really want to have this one in my collection. Movement segment. You select a ready unit, move it, and then the other can do reactions. Second reactions. Okay, so you can move here and here for the opposing player. So this is really on squad level. It will be very detailed. Both players will be involved in the game, which is cool, but it will not allow huge games. It's clearly for squad level games for me, or smaller games. Not a huge army, which is nice. Okay. Range attacks, 
range attack shooting melee yeah this looks nice there are a lot of models involved here so big fights will be possible cool flyers you can use those tokens that we have received and here you see the use of the other tokens so entry point and exit point target point doing an attack run you place them on the board and later you can place the model as soon as you have them cool and then here I have an interceptor flight path cool nice end phase calculating victory points okay uh, loadouts so special rules the model may have uh, explained here and then we go for the battle groups here appendings covenant standard battle group and the siege host armored battle group uh, so that you can always choose and then there will be specialist groups coming up with new models an army list and why he has chosen these models from Derek for the Covenant and one for UNC by Neil himself cool and the best thing something that is new for Spartan painting guide undercoating mixing paints everything explained washes lasers uh, how to clean your models and a color guide with Vallejo colors nice I'm all normally using Vallejo so I can directly paint with these and I'll start to do my covenants with these looks really cool really helpful the first time I see this from Sparta a good addition to the book thanks okay so now we have to go for the models that's the thing that is missing I'll show them to you in a sec so let's start to show you the models first thing first back are the dice and you have the, these dice and they are clearly the halo dice you have the exploding six mechanic with the firepower ratings again so this one you would be allowed to reroll and get two successes this is one success no success no reroll and this one is a dice that you can't take up again to reroll if you roll the skull and then of course this is modified by the firepower rating so at the standard firepower rating of four that's what i said at the firepower rating of five you can even reroll these and the firepower rating of three you can't you won't get rerolls, but at 2 this is just one success and the firepower rating of 1. Due to modification you are not allowed to roll your dice, you have no chance to hit the target. First bag, let's show some models first. These are the resin parts that you get as terrain. So a kind of wall, I think an energy field would be nice, so paint this kind of funny. Um, Objectives. This one I'll paint as UNSC objective, drop of weapon, of cash. And this is the same for the Covenant for me. Looks cool. Um, thanks. Good addition to the set. And then we'll go for the paperwork first. So what do we get in the paper in this bag? And in the box we get two um, cards for the commanders. Generic commander, lieutenant colonel, standard orders, and the covenant has the same standard orders. The both have a unique ability. The UNSC can pass one suppression test, test automatically. And here, death to the heretics, a fanatical charge on the enemy. Um, increase the range for this one. Okay, nice. Then we get a lot of cards. These are the cards, stat cards. On the other side you can see how they look like. And you get one for every unit in the box. I have no real idea on the stats. Movement is clear, react. Okay, it's kind of reaction. Melee, that's fighting ability. Soak is your ability to get, take in enemy fire. So kind of defensive pool. Um, and officer of the UNSC, where's the Spartan? Grunts. Rifleman, Miner, Spartan, here it is. So here's the Spartan, 6 or 12 inch move, and one thing I really like is the hijack ability, the last one, may attempt to hijack enemy vehicles, first thing I read here. Uh, the vehicles, the Warthog, and the Ghost. I'll take a look on these when I do the rulebook review. And then of course, we also have inside this one, the Pelican and the 
Phantom Type 52 troop carrier. So these models were supposed to be released with the game. The game was late, so hopefully the models will come soon and catch up again. So closing the gap. I'll give you more information on these in the next review. Next, these are the bunkers. One sprue of plastic, one sprue of paper here. They belong together and they would make one bunker. I'll build one here as a tutorial. And you even get, thanks, some instructions. And they look quite nice, even staircases are in there. So I'm looking forward to build them. Uh, and you also get instructions for your models. One side for the UNSC, even if it's just a few parts and it looks easy. Uh, I think this is an improvement for Spartan. Good thing to do. So, step by step for the uh, machine gun element here. Tokens. In this case, two sets of the same tokens, two sheets. One side looks like this, one side looks like this. They are the same as in fleet battles, so I expect the same meaning on them. Um, but I have to read the book. Then we have the Phantom, uh, Phantom and the Pelican, and some tokens which I would think they belong to these flyers. I have to read the rules. We again get this reference sheet, and we can already check. Firepower rating is here. This is the same firepower rating rules as in fleet battles. And then we have the rule book itself. So what's in the rule book? First, nice pictures. The games team here, everybody that is mentioned here, everybody's on the list, the full team for me. <laughs> Designers, Neil Fawcett and Chris Pacey. Main writers, Derek Sinclair and Neil Fawcett. Okay, that's what we already knew. And everybody is in the thanks here, in the, what's it called in English? No idea. Yeah, of course, mentioning 343 Industries and Microsoft Studios here. And then we have Introduction, 10 pages of Halo Universe, Basic Game Core Mechanics, Breakdown of the Game Turn Appendix with the loadouts, battle groups, potential force lists here. This might will be Derek and Neil again writing a potential list with these models in here. Let's have a short look into it. Yeah, this is as I said, fluff. Spartan program. Interesting for me that I'm since I'm not playing Halo on the uh, computers. I just don't like that. I prefer models. Explanation of the rifles, plasma rifle and assault rifle. Cool pictures of an aircraft, the Banshee. This one I like and I'll have to get when it's there as a model. Game basics. Now we start what we need. Of course we need models. We will need dice. Yeah, dice. And these type of tokens. Damage token, cooldown tokens, activation tokens. Ah. So when you have a cooldown token, you're not allowed to fire. Huh. Nice. Alternating activations, so I activate a squadron, my opponent activates a squadron. There's some rules for reaction fire, I need to read that, and I'll explain it in the rule book review. Stat cards, you have the soak and the reaction, so you can react on incoming movement. Ah, and you have two values, if you have not activated then you use the first if you've already activated you use the second uh, now we have to read the rules for reaction of course dice pools firepower rating explained here um, same tables as in fleet battles force building so we have the building blocks again the build ratings and the maximum fleet value of force value in this case, you select the battle group and then there will be special battle groups, I'm sure. Yeah, specialist hosts, spectral hosts, specialist battle groups. So there are special battle groups that will then gain uh, 
special rules. This with death in this case. Okay, nice. This one look, looks cool. You choose your force commander. You can use a standard commander or a heroic commander. They will be available in the future. Commander data sheet. Yeah, you roll those colored dice, place them here. Now you can spend those symbols that you have rolled on orders. These are three of them everybody gets. And I'm quite sure they will also be used for the um, initiative at the very beginning. That's how it is in fleet battles. Looks cool. Yeah. Okay. Terrain explained, you can't shoot through a wall. Yeah. Nice. Faster movement. So next is the bubble wrap. So I'm just getting them out of the big bubble wrap and you see a lot of bags and one more bubble wrap inside and a lot of infantry. Infantry, the resin flyers. So what do we get? Bases with three holes. One goes into this one. Um, and then three times the same sprue of grass. I think they look cool. Um, you basically get three of them, so three bases, three elements of these guys. Nice. Then a second set, and they just have a different pose. They look a little bit different. Also, cool models. And yeah, bigger than Planetfall infantry, easier to paint. Good thing. Here. Nice. Take a look at the next. These are the hunters. They also have one connection piece where you glue them into the base. You have some structure on the base, you don't have to do that yourself, just paint it. And then you have a weapon that goes onto the side. There's a hole where you can connect it. Something like this. And there's a weapon for the other side. Here are both weapons. And in the back of the model, you will have to mount these um, barbs coming from the back. These will be cool models. We will show you the painted version as soon as they are painted. It will take some time, of course. So what else? Two more bags of models. This bag has a different set. There's a sprue of these, so more grunts. Then there is another sprue of these, and two sprues of these guys. HMG, so specialist team basically. And I think I've tried to mount them once like this and once crossed, so with the other version, and then there's the boss, this is the lieutenant commander or the war host leader in case of the covenant, also a nice model, keep them together, I don't want to mix up the parts right now, last bag, bigger ones, yeah special plasma rifles, bigger ones, three times the same model and the base of it, two holes inside, Okay, now we go for the ghost. This is a flying model. So, there is a small flight pack. This is for three of them. And you get three of them in case of the Covenant and a very small flight pack. Okay, what happens? This is the main body connection to the flight pack. And this one basically clicks there. It goes in very well, fits perfectly, and I think I will paint them first, so that I can paint the model, even the guy, the grunt, and then glue it together. At the end, these parts go here, and the sides, and then some kind of exhaust metal parts that go below. Full models will be shown in the future. So, these are the bags for the you will see, I opened all of them to save some time. Let's start with the normal UNSC troopers. They are here, two bags, four bases each. 
This is four times the same spring. These guys, I like them. And then we have the same over here with another set. They look like this. Also nice, cool metal figures. I prefer them before plastic. Um, you get structured bases, so you glue them in and you have some structure on the ground. Cool. Then we have that heavy weapon team. This has four holes. The weapon already has th two, the guy one. And then there is a second guy with the ammo near the weapon that goes into the last hole. So, weapon team. And in this bag you get another element of troopers with a slightly different look. Yeah, kind of the sergeant here, commander. Element. We also have the Spartans. And here again there are two guys with different weapons. Twice the same screw. They go in here. And three bases with single slots. These are the bigger ones, the Spartans. And they also look nice. Big weapons. Taking care of some special target. Cool. And for me, the best model is the Warthog. This one just looks cool. Oh, and model wise, I need more from these. That's how you build them. Two parts go in here, put the wheels, and they have a really good suspension here. At least it looks like that. Of course, it's hard resin. Windshield goes here. One guy is the driver, you can see a small driver here, this is the top of the driver and then the guy that is running the weapon, on the weapon you need to straighten these, there's a hole here, it glues in there nicely, oh, you can do that directly and you can turn it and the guy is positioned on the weapon, I think it needs to be slightly straightened here. So, okay, I have to remove the excess metal there, and then there are two more pieces that go somewhere below, here at the back, the lights to the back of the vehicle. Looks cool, and that's all you get in the box. Hope you enjoyed. We'll do a rulebook review soon, and then I'll show, show you the painted models, some games, as soon as we can play them. See you. Bye-bye.